Hi guys and welcome to the Eveno's office. So today I thought I would do an updated video version and hopefully a fairly quick one so it's not overwhelming, it's super easy for you to follow, where I walk you through how to create an art printable that you can easily sell on the Etsy platform. So this is something I have done many times. I have created and sold a number of art printables as well as other printables that I've sold on Etsy and I use a program called Canva in order to do it. I was just going to talk about how to create it and download your art printable but in future videos I'm going to go on to talk about how to create really beautiful thumbnail images with your art printable. I'm going to talk about how to upload your art printable listings to Etsy. I'm going to talk about how to validate and make sure that you are actually creating art printables that people want to purchase and in the future I'm going to go on to also show you all different types of printables that you can create and sell using Canva and that you can put onto the Etsy platform so you can grow your shop using print printables and again this is something I have done myself this is something I teach people how to do inside of my art printables on Etsy calls I break it down super simply so it's not overwhelming you can just get in and create your own art printable business and I also have a really wonderful workbook as well that will go hand in hand with the videos that I'm creating and also this video in particular it's a really easy thing that you can grab you can have next to you as you create your own art printable business and set up your own shop to sell these so I will link all of those in the description box below the workbook in particular I think would go really really well with this because this would just help you create those products and then the workbook will walk you through how to set up your Etsy shop put everything into place make sure that you're creating art printables that actually sell I want to really focus on here is talking about some of the things that people I think don't really talk about on YouTube um, and in free content when it comes to creating art printables because we want to make sure that we are safe when we create art printables that we're doing it in the right way and that we are creating really high quality art printables for our audience to purchase. So I am in the Canva studio here or the Canva dashboard and if you haven't used Canva before it's a super beginner friendly graphic program that you can use to help you create a whole host of different digital products. So personally I think it's really worth using the pro version if you think yes I want to create an art printable business or a printable business I think it's just the easiest thing to do and um, I will list underneath the link to Canva underneath so you can have a look at it for yourself if you want to but it would just make this process of creating your art printables so much easier. The way that I like to create my art printables to keep it super easy for myself is to just use an A4 document. So I've already got that in my next tab just to keep it as simple as possible. The reason why I like to personally use this size is because it keeps everything a little bit more compact because Quite often, if for example, if you're in the UK, A4 will be a typical size in the UK and in certain areas. But then also in America, you tend to have the slightly bigger size, which is more your US letter size that is quite common. And then obviously we all have the eight by 10s, the 16 by 20s, the 12 by 16s, those sizes. Don't panic at all about trying to understand those sizes. I will create another video that's gonna help you understand how to create different sizes. And I'm gonna walk you through that a little bit at the end of this video so it's nothing to worry about but I just wanted to explain why an A4 is one of the best I think because an A4 will easily fit into you know bigger sizes like a US letter size um, like a 16 by 20 and things like that. Now, you will have to perhaps do a little bit of fiddling with your design when you are trying to kind of cross that over to a eight by 10 or a 16 by 20 or something like that. Um, but I will show you exactly how to do that in a bit. So don't get overwhelmed. It's just something that I noticed quite a lot of people don't really share that you may have to do a little bit of fiddling when you use Canva to create art printables and you want to have um, multiple different sizes. So the first thing I'm gonna dive into that I see quite a lot of people not really mentioning and I just think it's so important to mention this is where to get your graphics from if you were not designing your graphics yourself. Now there is like a lot of suggestion I think sometimes that you can just use Canva um, graphics and you can just download anything from Canva or drag and drop anything from Canva, particularly if you're a pro user. Um, but I have to be honest, I'm not 100% comfortable with that. I will leave underneath this video the link to Canva's video that they actually created about creating 
well, all different types of products, but they also feature in their creating printables and digital products um, and their recommendations of how to use their free versus their pro graphics. For me, I personally don't feel comfortable just picking something from um, Canva. It's just my personal preference. I always prefer, and it's just something I, because I'm not a legal expert, prefer, which is to go to a place where I know that I can purchase those graphics. I know that I can use them in a safe way to create printables that I can then take off of Canva and sell on places and platforms like Etsy. Um, and I know that I can also speak to the very creator who created it just to be sure. So the platform that I like to use is Creative Market. I just find it super easy. You can easily find, for example, I can type in floral graphics, if I can spell it. <laughs> And I can just click on there and I will find a whole host of different graphics. And the important thing to remember about these graphics is that one, they are very, very clear on what you can and cannot use these graphics for. So when you click on um, a listing, you are able to go through and read the licenses and make sure you pick the right license for what you want to use, which in this case would be creating a printable product that you are then going to sell on a separate platform. And also it's important to remember that once you've purchased these graphics, you can use them again inside of your products, obviously within the license. And so you are investing effectively into pieces that you can use over and over again with confidence inside of your business. And I think that that's so important. And I do understand where lots of people come from with like, you know, oh, I can just drag and drop things straight off of Canva and it's so easy. But I, again, I'm gonna leave Leave the Canva video for their licensing and what they say you can and can't use and then you choose whether you feel comfortable using it or not. For me, I just wanted to show you a great alternative. So if you don't feel comfortable using Canva and um, their graphics, then you can always use Creative Market. I think it's absolutely brilliant. I personally purchase my graphics that I use in a lot of my external products um, and digital products on Creative Market. For example, here's one that I purchased and it's got all these different hosts of graphics that I can use to create a whole host of art printables and change them up and use them in different ways. And once I have found the graphics that I want to use, I simply purchase them on Creative Market. They get downloaded onto my computer and then I can simply hop over, click on them to download them, pick out the ones that I want and just drag and drop them onto Canva. It's just that when I'm creating digital products like art printables, I just like to make sure that I have a very clear understanding of how I can use the graphics inside of my um, printable and digital products rather than if I was creating physical items like tote bags and mugs and things like that. The next thing is just to show you how to create an art printable, which really comes down to your creativity and also comes down to how you are validating and making sure that you know what your audience want and you know the type of art printable that they want to create. Now, again, this is something that my workbook that I've created is gonna be so helpful for. Also, if you want even more comprehensive understanding of how an art printable business needs to be set up, how to validate your printables and make sure that you're creating printables that people are actually searching for on the Etsy platform to make it so much easier for you to get organic traffic in and make sales through those printables, I highly recommend grabbing my art printables on Etsy course. It's just gonna help you get rid of all the faff and create products and an Etsy shop that's actually gonna make sales, which is what is most important. But back Back to the actual video, I can literally now just, for example, I may want to use the feather image. And then it's just really about me playing around to create a design that is close to what I know my audience are going to want. And I can use text if I go in here. I'm just going to just invent print idea. And again, I would be envisioning that I had done my my research to make sure that this was something that my audience would actually be interested in purchasing and that's popular on the Etsy platform. So again, I am just playing around with this and um, being very creative, which is one of the wonderful things 
of creating art printables. Obviously you can have fun and play with it as much as you want to create your art printable. Something I always personally recommend if you are creating art printables for an Etsy shop is if you do have an idea, for example, a um, theme or a topic that you have noticed is really, for example, popular on the Etsy platform, not just to create one art printable around it, but to go ahead and create a good few art printables around that idea around that keyword or that topic and again I will create a video talking about how to find topics and niches and themes that are popular for you to create your art printables inside of so that you do get maximum impact when you upload them onto your Etsy store and you start driving in traffic but something that in terms of the creation side of things I would say is just to not create one single print for that design because you may just miss the mark slightly on one print that another style that have been slightly tweaked would have attracted those sales and got those conversions. So quite often I recommend if you have a particular theme or a particular keyword that you are creating art printables around to really look at creating around at least five art printable designs that you can upload into your Etsy shop around that popular theme or trend. And again, don't worry about that too much right now. I just wanted to give you an example of creating an art printable. So I just wanted to show you some other designs really simply so you can kind of get an idea and a feel for it. So here I have one that was focused around coffee and you know, being a boss girl. And again, this is what I mean by creating a few variations and different designs inside of a theme or a topic. So that you are trying to hit you know, that theme as best as you can inside of your art printable shop. You're never gonna know what exactly hits your audience just right when they come into your shop to purchase your art printables. So making sure that you have some options in there inside of those niches and those themes is absolutely perfect. So if I go back to the one, for example, that I just created, once I have created this art printable or this art printable collection, if I have multiple of them, then the next things that I'm gonna to want to do is I'm gonna to want to convert these into PDFs and I'm also gonna to want to convert these into JPEGs in particular with art printables. But there is a little problem with that in Canva. Um, and so I will be creating another video for you to kind of show you exactly how to create high quality JPEGs of your PDF downloads that you have. Um, I have this inside of my art printables and Etsy course, I talk about how to convert them really easily and for free. But the reason why you wanna do that is because a lot of print companies that people are using in order when they purchase their art printables on Etsy to print their designs out of are now shifting to wanting JPEGs rather than PDF files. Now we still wanna offer the PDF file because it's the one that is the highest quality for people to print out. Click on the Canva platform that only offers and only has available, which is where the little bit of an issue comes in, PDF for print. They don't offer the JPEG format in a high enough quality for you to be able to print that out and for it to look the same as it does here. It will look blurry, it won't look as effective. I think it's something like 97 DPI or something like that. I can't remember the exact number, um, but it's too low of a resolution for a print company to be able to print that out. Whereas the PDF for print is 300 DPI, which is perfect for being able to print it out. So for now, we're gonna focus on downloading in the PDF for print format for our art printables. It's super easy in terms of downloading your PDF. We just click on PDF for print. Then we have a couple of options here now that Canva have kind of introduced over the last several months, which is the flatten PDF, which flattening your PDF will help ensure it prints properly. So that's absolutely perfect. And then also obviously we want to pick out design that we want to, to print out. Obviously this one, we only have one right now. So I'm just gonna click on that one, which is page one. I'm gonna click on done. Then you've got your RGB, best for digital use, or CMYK, which is best for professional printing, which you have that option in premium. Now I will say that in the past, when Canva only had RGB available, I used that to download my art printables and I didn't have the biggest of problems. So if you are using the free version compared to the premium version of Canva, RGB still worked for me. I had never had anybody have an issue with printing out their art printables and the look and the quality and the color way of it at all. And But now that I do offer the CMYK, it's a great option and best for professional printing. But I haven't personally seen a massive difference. That would mean you have to use one over the other. Then once we're done, we just click on download.
Another thing that is as a reason as to why premium might be more beneficial for you long term if you want to create art printables and you want to build an art printable business on Etsy is that you have a really important option which is the resize option and this makes creating art printables just a lot easier with the click of a button. Now that I've downloaded my A4 art printable, I may then decide I also want to offer the 8x10 or a 12x16 or a 16x20 print, whatever print sizes suit my audience. And again, that would be something we would look at in the research and the validation phase for our target audience. But say, for example, if I wanted to create an 8x10 sized art print as well as the A4, I can really easily click on the 8x10 click copy and resize and this will resize the art print for me into 8 by 10 format which you can see there's your A4 it's a bit longer and slimmer and then you have your 8 by 10 which is a little bit more square now with this and with the changing of ratio between some of these sizes you may want to go in and just change as into you know make a few things bigger wider whatever it is that you need to do to make the two images kind of align so that if someone is downloading, for example, they purchase your listing inside of your listing, you have a four, a five, you may have an eight by 10, a 16 by 20. You want to make sure that no matter which one they download, it's still going to look very similar. But because they are different ratios in sizes of paper, then it's never gonna look exactly the same. So again, the best thing that I always recommend is just to make sure that it looks aligned, it looks really nice on the paper itself, and it looks you know, cohesive to what they think that they're going to be purchasing in no matter what size they get. Once you've done that and you've converted them all over, whatever, however many designs you've done over to eight by 10, then you just click over share, click on to download and download them again in PDF for print. So now I have my two designs ready to go. I can just name them. So this might be feather print in A4. And this one would be feather print in eight by 10. I now have my two size art prints ready to be uploaded into the listing in my Etsy shop. Now, of course, if I want to create even more sizes, then I do run into a little bit of an issue with Etsy because Etsy only offer the ability to have five spaces. I'm just showing you an example in here of a digital listing where you can put five different files into that listing. Now, if you want to offer more than five sizes or more digital products that you want to add into one listing, then we need to look at creating effectively a folder or creating a way for them to get it through a share file. And again, I'm not gonna overwhelm you with that. So what I'll do is I'll create another video in the future about how to easily create bigger folders, bigger files that you can put more graphics or more art printables into or printable products into that then you can share inside of your listing on Etsy. So definitely subscribe if you want to see more of these videos for help and support. And also, of course, inside of my art printables and Etsy course, I have all of this broken down for you just to make it super simple. But I wanted to really break down the actual steps of creating an art printable on Canva that you can then upload and sell on Etsy. And I wanted to talk about some of the things when it comes to actually creating products that you can sell on Etsy through Canva. And the best way that I personally feel is just the safest that I like to do for me. Again, I'm not a legal expert, but a lot of us who create art printables or printable products are not legal experts on the back end. So being as safe as possible as we can is really important. And also just to break down some of the more in-depth elements of creating an art printable on Etsy that's high quality, that someone can easily print out, and that you know that you'll be proud of when you go and sell it on the Etsy platform, which is the most important thing. So I hope that this video helps. Definitely subscribe to my channel if you wanna see more of these videos at the moment on creating content for Etsy because I have an Etsy store. I also teach people in my art printables on Etsy course, which has over, I think it's 600 students now. And um, I teach how to create actual art printables and printable products and sell them on the Etsy platform. And there's just a lot of pitfalls and things that I see that people just don't always talk about that actually in reality, you're going to all the effort to create this business. You want to make sure that you're creating it safely, that you are creating it with high quality products and that you're building a business and a brand, not just you know an opportunity to make a couple of sales and then things fall apart. So this is why I'm, 
creating videos that are a little bit more in depth about each element rather than just creating one big video of everything all in one go. So definitely stick around if you want to see more videos on how to create art printables and sell them on Etsy. I'm also gonna be showing you how to create a whole host of other printables that you can sell on Etsy and other platforms as well. There's lots of different things that I teach on my YouTube channel to help you grow your income from the comfort of your own home with just a laptop or your computer. So I'll see you in the next video guys. Bye.